Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with Let's Play Super Mario Maker 2. We've got another whole bunch of levels we're playing. What you're actually seeing here, because so I worked out a way to do it. This is a level I made. This is Thwomp Forest. I'm not going to play through the whole level, but um, once we go into it, I will pop up a little thing, being like, yo, here's, here's the ID for the level. If you would like to play this level, it is a forest themed level with a whole bunch of thwomps that ended up being way harder than I intended it to be. Like you got these here, and you got these arrows telling you where each of the thwomps will go. If you'd like to try this, feel free to go to the ID code I'm about to show you and uh, have a go out of it. It ended up being way harder than I, expect, um, than I realized. Probably because there's like two of the particular challenges towards the end of it that ended up being way harder than I realized. Um, so whoops, whoopsie doodle on that. But here it is, 63 people have played it, 8 people like it, so that's not a great ratio there. Uh, a clear <laughs> rate of 1.4%, so it's above 1%. 5 clears out of 356 attempts. There's your course ID, uh, if you'd like to have a go at it. Um, I think it's alright, I think it's alright. I think some of the core ideas of how to make a level, like, give it a theme, give it a central mechanic, like introduce um, those mechanics in safe environments and slowly escalate them and then combine different ideas that you've done. I think I've done okay at getting the general gist of it down. Um, there's definitely one particular aspect towards the end of the level where um, I haven't done a really good job of showing you what the hell you're meant to do to actually beat it. Um, and there's another one which has like three different ways of beating it and only one of them feels right. Um, because it's the one I intended, and then I realized, oh, you can totally do it in a couple other ways. Uh, the geometry level is very boring, but I went for the Super Mario Bros. look where the entire ground is flat. Um, so I, I, I think it's alright. I think it, like, I didn't make many levels in the first game. I made one, uh, and it was more so me fucking around with the mechanics. Well, I made a second one that's in my channel trailer, but that doesn't quite count. Um... So, for a first level, because they, they actually have a really good, uh, like, in this, uh, if I go, well, I can't go to it from here, but if you go into this, the, um, Yamamura's Dojo actually does a lot about trying to teach you how to make levels like how Nintendo makes levels, and they focus a lot on being fair to the player, and that exact thing I was saying. Give a level a central mechanic or a theme, like, or, it, like, they even say, it's just like, Give a single enemy or a mechanic or a concept that your level is about and make the level about testing that one thing in more and more advanced ways. It's the very, very, very Nintendo approach to level design that you'll see across most types of games that they make in some capacity. Even ones that aren't strictly platformers, you'll see that Nintendo approach of how to make a level present. I mean, it's present in a lot of games now. And Nintendo pioneered it a lot with their platformers on the NES um, thing. So it's, it's a lot of focus of, ju of just that. And I tried to do my best to... Like, the, the main goal was have a central mechanic, make a level based on that central mechanic, using it in different ways. And I gave myself the thwomps to do, because I was just thinking, well, the fact that they move allows for simple ways of changing how you have to interact with them because they move and the environment around them depending on how it's shaped can completely change how you have to interact with a moving thwomp so i think i did all right at it i think i did i think i did i'm not saying it's a fantastic level i i, I i'm hesitant to even say it's a good level but i think it's for for a first level attempt at trying to capture the idea i think i've done all right so i'll, I'll at least say that well, let's just jump into some stuff here. Before we get to the popular courses, and I have uh, one suggested course by people, I'm recording this just after episode 3 went up, so I've only gotten one recommendation yet. Also, no one here as many people are watching this series um, as they should. I, I, I don't know. Peaceful Park. That's what's play versus. It's probably going to be very, very simple. Epic Poison Dodging. Uh, trip to the Moon, short and sweet and themed. Fuck it, why not? Don't let the aliens get get to you because they are hungry. <laughs> okay, let's have a go. Yeah, if you have levels, give them to me and I will play them. If you give me a code for a level, I will play it. Depending on how difficult it is, I I, I ain't gonna guarantee I'm gonna beat it, but wee. Yeah, wee. Excuse me. <laughs> Bonk. 
Yeah, mushies! Oh, okay. We have skullfish in space. Oh, watch out for the skullfish! Oh, skullfish everywhere! So many skullfish. Oh, that. I was about to say, where the fuck do I land to avoid the buzzy beetle? We worked it out. It's okay. Oh, we. I love this nighttime remix. Whoa! That didn't quite work out. Okay, so Goombas in space will act like they're in water. Got it. <laughs> I'm not in a swimming level, am I? No, <laughs> I was about to say. No, just the nighttime stuff. Huh, okay. Oh, uh, this is scary. Fuck. Oh, uh. oh god. Run! Slide! Run! Continue. Oh god. I see you there, don't worry. So I, I know about forms, I know how to deal with them. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Yeah. I can amount to exactly the highlight of that course. I'm gonna give it a like. I like it. No comments yet. Aw. <laughs> like, even if a single part of a level's cool, I I'm okay with that. Cat Mario Maze. Let's go for it. <laughs> This is what we do. We just go in and do random fucking shit and just be like, oh, I'll undo that. I keep wanting a give me a random level thing. That isn't endless, but that's fine. You can basically do that as is. Okay. Okay, I see a little thing over there. Meow, meow. Oh, oh. I also do have to point out something. Because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, so, well, I also, I want, I realized one thing um, while trying to do a level that no one had beaten uh, when I saw it. No, there is totally a long jump. Actually, there's a, there is a playlist. I should show off that level at some point. Not that I'll beat it. There's a long jump in this, but also... Cat Mario does have the dive. It's the ground pound... Uh, sorry, it's not the ground... No, ground... Because ground pound is down. If you press the... The, uh, the trigger button. Cat Mario totally does have dive in this game. So, uh... Whoa! Whoops. I did, I, I, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> So no, Cat Mario totally does have a dive in this game. I'm just bad at buttons. I didn't realize that this would actually dive. Whoopsie doodles. I felt, I felt stupid. Ha, ha, there we go. Hit you in the face. Coins, coins, coins everywhere. Yeah. And we got another red coin here. Ugh. But wait, wait. There was another path. I want to go check that out. I do have to definitely say, because I've played some levels like off camera. Like I haven't just been, there we go. I haven't just been exclusively like saving the entire game for on camera. I've been playing some stuff off camera. And um, the control skit, the, the controls for 3D worlds are by far my favorite in the game. By far. By far, they are, they are my favorite. Yeah. I mean, like, that is also just because I love 3D World as a game. <laughs> like, I really like 3D World, and I think it's a really good game. Meow. Meow. Wait. Meow. There we go. Uh, I, I, I am low on time. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, this has suddenly gone from a maze to a, to a, to a running thing. That's okay. Whee! That worked. Meow. Uh, just as I'm talking about how my, th uh, th 30 worlds is my favorite controls out of all this. Damn it! Damn it, it worked the one time. Not working this time. Okay, I'll just over you. Okay, I have my time back, so that's okay. Dive! <laughs> yeah, I actually got to use it properly. Ow. Well, I'm fucked. Fuck. Get in there. There we go. That's not even maze. That's just fuck you. Whee! Yeah! We did it. We did the Cat Mario maze. Uh, it probably also just has something to do with the fact that I've played 3D World more than I've played any of the others. I still like that. I am generous with the light. I'll, I will definitely say that because it feels good to get a like and I want to like like unless a like, level is just like basically fucking pointless I'll give it a like 
Like if I if I had fun playing it, I will give it a like. That that is, I I am I am generous with the likes. Cause I was thinking this is like if people had fun playing my level, but then they didn't like it, I'd be upset. Reach the goal after grabbing at least 150 coins. Then we go. Oh, now we have Angry Sun. I okay. Oh, I can get down here. Yeah. I think a coin collecting level might be the next one I try and make. I, I like the idea of just like have like explore in a playground kind of thing of just, fuck a bunch of stuff. Turn yeah. Turns out I just remembered sliding down stuff and. Damn it. Sliding down hills in this one is not a thing. <laughs> Whoops, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna go up first. Whoa, okay. Ah, okay. We have a thing up the top here that just endlessly spawns those. There we go. Cool. Whoa! Mm, okay. That's gonna come back and hit me, isn't it? Again, isn't it? That worked! That worked! It shouldn't have, but it did! Did I kill the sun with that? <laughs> That's silly. Uh, well, well, I've ruined that forever. <laughs> I've ruined that possibility. Okay. Oh, no, I haven't. Yes, I have. <laughs> that doesn't work on them. This gives me an extra. Whee! Whoa, okay. Okay. Just rain spiny death from the ceiling. That's okay, too. God damn. Hey! There we go, this works! Oh, I love how the music just changes. The I've learned, also, since, um, this power-up is actually a, unlo a secret unlockable. You don't start the game with this. You actually have to beat story mode to get this, which was interesting to learn. Like, they've actually got a power-up locked away behind story mode. I mean, it's a cool power-up. Like, like, I, from memory, the first Super Mario World, you had to, like, build a bunch of levels and, like, do a bunch of stuff to unlock all the parts. Where, apparently, in this, it is, there's that and one other power-up, apparently. There are two power-ups in the entire game that are unlocked by beating Story Mode, I think. One of them's the Super Bowl Flower. I don't remember what the other one is. I can't think of what it is. There's another one. But Super Bowl's only in this uh, variant, and the other one's only in one of the other variants. But I do not for the life of me remember what it is, so never mind. Oh, can I not get down there from here? Balls. Okay. Oh, shit. Because I don't have the coins. And I'm worried. Well, let me go through the pipe here. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> it's fine. Whee! Okay, go through here. I like the idea of the coral above that as well. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, okay. Kill you. Is there a... No, I guess there's multiple entrances to here. From each of the three pathways here come to here. And you go up here, okay. Okay, I get you. And there's stuff up there, but I'm just gonna go through here to presumably the end. Oh, okay. Now the goal is to try and find where the... Oh, actually, there's a yellow pipe right there. That might, that, that might be it. It could just be through here. I could easily be going in a loop. I don't know. Huh, okay. I'm now kind of in a maze. Shoot you, bang, bang, bang. There's a lot of coins here. This is to be nice to people who are doing endless. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I feel like you're being overly generous in terms of Give him the extra coins to get to the 150 before the end of the level. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of pipage that I'm going through. Oh, uh, okay. I kind of understood what was going on before, and now I'm confused. Okay. Yay! Alright. Huh, he actually went in the door. He put a door there and he actually went into the door. That's a, that's a cool little detail. I like it. I'm a bit confused by that. Like, like the, the beginning of the level, I understood. I like the idea of the beginning level, multiple pathways, pick your poison, get the coins and everything. Then the end of it was just kind of going through a lot of pipes over and over again. That eventually led to a finish and had a shitload of coins there. That ending was a bit strange, but <laughs> the rest of it was still cool. Mario vs Goomba, bounce and bounce. Um, 
Ah, uh, the idea of bouncing on stuff, so let's do that. This is gonna go great. <laughs> I haven't even gone to popular courses yet. I will at some stage, maybe. Spoon with your frog hat. How do I unlock more clothing? Whee! <laughs> Just hold the jump button on these. That's what works. I keep forgetting that. Whee! 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 Oh, there's, there's music. Dramatic music, yeah. Oh, oh, I just realized what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm totally going to fucking remake Popopolis. Yeah! <laughs> I am totally going to remake Popopolis. Oh, fuck it. Yes, you bet. Oh, I could so easily just remake a bunch of the key temples from Donkey Kong Country. Oh. Uh. Nah. That one's... That one's too simple for a like. <laughs> that one's a bit... Eh. It gave me a really cool idea. So I'm just going to do that I idea better. Frantic forest. Try to go as fast as possible. 16 seconds. Wow, okay. Uh, nah. Fl Flappy Mario. Okay. Okay, we just have that. Um, 